Please get on the ground or you get shot with the beanbag shotgun. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Drop it. On March 25th, one of our detectives was working overtime patrol in a uniform and a marked patrol vehicle. Uh, he saw a call on the board for a burglary at an orthodontist office in Puyallup and decided to proactively just go check it out. When he got there, somebody walked out of the front door of the closed business and he could hear the alarm going off. He asked the gentleman what he was doing. He didn't provide a really good answer and the detective asked him to take a seat so he could further investigate. The suspect refused and continued to walk away. What's that? Why is the alarm going off, buddy? Okay, do me a favor, have a seat on the curb. Look, you're being audio and video recorded, you're not free to go. Why? Because I gotta figure out why you're inside the business. Hey, I just gave you a command. Please have a seat, you're not free to go. Counting 230, can I get a second? I've got one I'm contacting with these commands. Hey! Police, stop! The detective saw the male had a handle of a machete in his hand and the rest of the blade was tucked up under his sleeve. The detective held the man at gunpoint and waited for additional deputies to assist, but the suspect continued to flee. He may have a machete in his right hand. He's got it tucked into his right sleeve though, so it's kind of upside down. I'm going to be following towards Meridian. Hey, police, get over here! Seeing him approaching a McDonald's drive through full of people, a second deputy who arrived on scene deployed his less lethal beanbag shotgun to try and get the suspect to comply. Please get on the ground or you get shot with the beanbag shotgun. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Drop it. Deputies didn't know this, but once the suspect was hit with the beanbag, he threw the machete down on the ground. The suspect continued to walk away and he was warned again and shot with the beanbag rounds one more time. You're going to get hit again. Get down on the ground. Please, you're under arrest. Get on the ground. On the ground, face down. You're refusing this time, the suspect face had down. enough and sat down on the ground. Deputies were able to then take the now cooperative suspect into custody. We got him proned out. We're working on detaining. Deputies were able to confirm the suspect had burglarized the business as there were pry marks on the door and a set of keys were missing. They also located the machete he dropped on the ground. All right, machete. The suspect was treated for a minor cut, presumably from the machete, and then booked into the Pierce County Jail for resisting arrest, burglary in the first degree, and obstruction. This video shows you how we can use our tools to try to mitigate the danger a suspect may present to us in the field. And I think our guys did a fantastic job. Way to go. If you guys are still here, I mean, didn't you see the logo punch come in? And well, if you're still here, let's start talking about what's gonna be going on in the comments down below. A lot of people are gonna be saying, hey, why didn't you just shoot him for real? Why didn't you use a taser? Why didn't you use a canine? Well, first off, I don't wanna get that close to a guy with a big old machete a taser has a shorter distance than a beanbag shotgun does. In addition to that, we did have a canine, but it was a bomb detection canine that was on scene, so we're not gonna use that guy. And I don't really want a canine officer to get stabbed either. We'll stick with the beanbag shotgun. On top of that, you know, we can Monday quarterback all the different things that you think you could do and kung fu the guy and all that stuff, but our deputies were put in a stressful situation. They had to make split second decisions, and ultimately, they kept the bad guy from getting seriously injured, themselves and everybody else that was around him. So again, fantastic job to these guys. And now I'll sign off.